What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Money Moves with Kay. I'm Kay, and today we're going to talk about how real estate changed my life. If that's something that you're interested in, please stay tuned for the video. Now, I want to start this video off with a quick story, right? So my five-year-old daughter, um, she recently lost two teeth. And her grandparents, her Mimi, her grandmother, asked her, you know, what do you want the tooth fairy to bring you uh, for losing your teeth? And my daughter said, I would like $236, okay? So I know that's a very specific number. And I also know that that's a lot of money for a tooth. In fact, if I could, I'll try to get all of my teeth out to get, you know, $236 per tooth. Um, so out of curiosity, my mom asked, you know, okay, baby, what are you gonna do with that money? $236, that's awfully a lot of money for a five-year-old, okay? And my daughter replied, I'm gonna buy 236 duplexes and a latte, all right? So that's my baby girl, and that is my why. So the reason why I wanted to start off with that story is because she is my true motivation to even delve into real estate, to research, to, to spend so much time tirelessly um, just trying to get everything going and being an entrepreneur, that's my why. So I wanted to start the uh, video off with that story to kind of get you introduced as to how it's even changed my life. So most of my subscribers know that my family and I are a military family. We were stationed in Germany for many, many years, for three years to be exact, three long years. Uh, we were stationed in Germany and that's where I started my real estate investment company. My background is actually education. I taught fifth grade for about seven to eight years in Washington, DC and also North Carolina. So when we were stationed in Germany, it was an opportunity for me to kind of um, do something new. But more importantly, there was a phase in my life that it was a very challenging phase. I was away from family, thousands and thousands of miles away from family, friends, the comfort of home, the comfort of a good meal. I was in uh, no man's land for, uh, for lack of better words. So while there, um, I was searching. I went through a bit of a downtime, a depression where I was like, I don't know what to do with my life. At that time, uh, my daughter was born in Germany, so she has dual uh, citizenship. So she was born in Germany. It was just after my pregnancy. And I was just like, I don't necessarily want to teach in Germany. I really want to do something, you know, follow my passions. And real estate was really, really, and still is my passion. Now, I also want to mention here that at that time, we were living paycheck to paycheck. So being in Germany, you get a ton of BAH and a ton of support. Um, but for the most part, we did not know how to manage our finances correctly. It wasn't until I saw a lady by the name of Lynn Richardson come on uh, the television screen in Germany. And basically, uh, in Germany, you do have um, a station called AFN. So they have things such as Nickelodeon and kids shows for the kids that, you know, we're used to in America. They also have daytime television shows and kind of gives us a dose of America, right? Um, and Lynn Richardson came on one of the daytime shows. It could have been a Steve Harvey show. But she came on that show and she was talking about taxes and she was talking about uh, living for free, owning a duplex, living on one side, house hacking, and all of these, to me at the time, bizarre and strange, but uh, uh, uniquely intriguing experiences. And I just wanted to know more. Immediately after watching her, I went online and researched how in the world can I pursue my passions in real estate and enter the market with little to no money. At that time, I stumbled across something called wholesaling. And as you guys may or may not know, I started wholesaling. I started a real estate investing company from Germany and I was uh, finding homes and properties in the North Carolina area. So I was actually doing it virtually. My very first deal was of a woman who was a for sale by owner and she had a listing up. Um, it lasted for a couple of years, but I noticed that the listing had expired which that's actually a nugget for you, which I didn't necessarily mean to give you, but uh, the nugget of uh, try to contact owners who have expired um, postings. So if they put a property up on for sale by owner and you notice it didn't sell and it's expired, that's an excellent way to try to find and track down these owners who have distressed properties, but they weren't able to sell. This particular deal was of a quad and a triplex, so a fourplex and a, a triplex. So that's seven total units. And each unit was a two bedroom, one bath. This was my very first deal. All I needed was a yes, and she definitely said yes, because it was just sitting. It was collecting taxes and she didn't live in it. And more importantly, she didn't have an emotional connection to it. That particular deal um, gave me a profit of $1,500. 
Now to you, that may not seem like a lot, but for me, that was an extreme amount of money to show me that the method that I was doing and what I was doing worked. And that's all I needed to uh, push forward. Now doing these deals allowed me to get my foot in the door and it also taught me a lot about real estate in general. Uh, fast forward to now, we own land, we own properties, and we're trying to, uh, well, we're building a new construction property, we're doing Airbnb, we're doing a lot of different things in real estate, but it wasn't easy. It took a lot of patience, dedication, and time to get to this point. So one way real estate has changed my life and transformed my life and my family's life is by creating generational wealth. Owning real estate allows you to have possession of assets, and with assets, it provides power and options that you can do multiple things with four walls. Whether you Airbnb the property, rent it, sell it, whatever you choose to do with your property, real estate is an opportunity for you to pass that knowledge and the physical dwelling on to future generations so they can have something to hold on to and something to call their own. I generally uh, call my daughter my business partner because I want her to get used to hearing that and used to uh, seeing me do meetings and used to uh, these things dealing with real estate. She is watching before her eyes um, a property be constructed from ground up. She is living in a home in which we will rent out, right? She knows about profit. She knows about rent. She knows what an asset is. She knows what credit is. She knows these things because these are common conversations in our household. And uh, that is the beauty about real estate. And I know for a fact, if we never would have gotten into real estate, those type of conversations probably wouldn't happen. Real estate will also allow us to retire early. With passive income and enough cash flow, we'll be able to live for free and also have enough cash flow to do vacations and the things that we actually want to do versus the things we need to do. If this video has given you any type of value or encouragement, go ahead and like, share, and comment below. It allows me to get the video out to a wider audience and uh, allows me to help other people, all right? So without further ado, back to the video. Real estate provides for economic mobility, allows tax benefits, income, and also helps people who may not be able to buy a home. So we're renting our properties so that people can have um, pride of ownership and really be comfortable in the home that we provide for them. Knowing that real estate investing created 90% of the world's millionaires has really enabled me to push forward and to kind of get going with real estate and continue on this ride, right? So um, there is an end for us. We don't necessarily want to uh, be real estate investors and work this hard all the time to find the properties, fix up the properties. There is an end goal that we have. But with that end goal, we want to make sure that we are set and that we do all of the hassle and the hustle and bustle up front while we're younger so that later on we can relax. That's the end of my video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching to this point and sharing my journey with me. Um, I hope you guys were empowered and encouraged to get into real estate. Uh, please watch all of my videos and kind of try to find these distressed properties. Uh, but enough talk. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Peace.